this app is one of the best ways to get GPT working on your phone. And yes, you can access GPT-4 as well. It's called Chat Art, and it's a free app developed by iMyPhone. I've actually covered some of their products before and this is their newest one. They asked me to test it out, so let's see if it's good. I'll download it for free from the Play Store and open it. Okay, looks like it can answer my questions. It can help me write articles and stuff and write some scripts for emails and chats. Alright, sounds pretty straightforward. Let's continue. Like I said, this is free access, so you can use it without any payments. Okay, let's see. If you go to this creation tab, you'll see a bunch of different options, each meant for a specific task. So I'm assuming these individual tasks or features are fine-tuned for that activity. So let's pick something here, maybe <laughs> child naming. That sounds interesting. I've never tried that using an AI tool. I guess we'll have to type our request here, so let me just do that. There we go. We might be doing these soon. Okay, it's asking me a question to select a language but I can't really edit my prompt in this screen. I wish there was an option to you know include the text window right here so I can conversate with it. So I my phone I would like to see that feature please. I'd like to see a text window right here in the screen so I can have a conversation like a normal messaging. So instead I have to go back by one screen and then kind of edit my prompt. It's nice that my original prompt is still there so I can easily edit that but it would be nice to have it in a single window you know. It is pretty fast and responsive so I'm not waiting for anything and okay it generated some names let's try some other things shall we okay here's another one travel guide let's try it out i'll ask you to describe a one day trip to say mangalore that way i can verify if it's actually good or not and there we go oh okay it's actually generating an entire history of the place oh it's covering other topics too like accommodation travel and everything see that's what i mean like these individual features are well tuned for that particular topic so even without you specifically asking for things it does give you the itinerary but it gives you all these extra information so that makes it easy for beginners to get started just using their phone i mean if someone asked me what they want to do in the city this is what i would recommend i guess is fine yes ending the day with seafood dinner that's what i say to everyone like stop going to restaurants every time and enjoy local seafood i'm surprised the ai got it right good job <laughs> carry a hat sunscreen yep it can get very humid and hot here good job ai now the free plan does have a limitation of only three trials per day like three prompts per day on gpt 3.5 and GPT-4 has just one trial a day. I wish it was a little bit more, you know, maybe like five trials a day would be really good. So I, my phone, if you could do that, it would be really nice. There seems to be some sale going on right now for 80% discount. That's cool. So you can get access to these features like unlimited use of GPT-3.5 and 10 times a day on GPT-4. Okay, so I guess GPT-4 is still pretty expensive even for them. So if you don't want to wait for 24 hours for your free credits to come back, you can kind of consider these plans. But you can use it for free, as I said, it doesn't have any ads or any annoying weird things. It's a nice, clean, fluid experience. It's a well-made app, you know, good job. Let's explore it some more. Okay, there's a personal cookbook as well. I'll give it some random ingredients that I have. Let's see what it recommends. Let's say I have a bread, some instant noodles, a slice of pizza, and an egg. Let's see what you recommend. You know, something that a bachelor would have in his fridge. Really? That's your recommendation? Put it all together? Come on, you can do better than that. Let's try again, shall we? I'll give it a little more challenging thing this time. I guess every time an egg is involved, the default answer is an omelette. I mean, it's not a wrong answer. That's what anyone would do. Fried eggs are like the go-to snack for any occasion. Okay, fair enough, I guess. Let's check out the short video script creator. I'll ask it to create a short video script for this exact app. Wait, what? That's it? <laughs> what? Close up of a face and then close. No, no, I think it somehow stopped it. Let me try again. Sometimes the AI runs out of tokens to generate it. I'm not sure why that happens, but I don't think it's the app's fault alone. I have seen it across many GPT powered apps. So you see, it's well tuned for an actual script. So I didn't ask it to structure it in a certain way. It did that automatically. Person is sitting on a couch, scrolling through their phone, looking bored and uninterested. The camera zooms in on the phone screen, showing the app icon. The person taps on the icon and the app opens up. The camera the camera then shows the person's face which lights up with excitement as they start using the app. It kind of sounds like an ad but I guess ads are short videos in a way. Upbeat and energetic music, yeah yeah whatever, we get it. It's the same GPT-4 experience that you would get on a browser based environment but you don't have to plan your prompts as much. This will help you with the prompting. How do I know that? Like if you go to some other, you know, say dietary preferences and ask it to write a video script, it doesn't do that because it's not made for that. So these features are really fine tuned for that particular use case. So they've clearly spent some time doing this 
this, which is why, you know, they've made an app for it. Cool, I appreciate the effort. There's something called Lemon 8 copywriting. What is that? I'm gonna ask it to write about itself. Let's see if it can write two paragraph explanation about what Lemon 8 is and how does it help. Yeah, as expected, it's pretty fast. You can see it's generating a pretty good looking copy, actually. It's better than something generic that ChatGPT can bring up. I'm going to copy this and see what this other tool, Polishing Articles, can do. I'm going to ask it to improve the readability of this article that we just generated. Oh, I'm noticing that there is a character limit of 500. So that's going to limit how much I can edit at a time. So chat our team, you might need to remove that limit so we can use more. So you can both create an article and edit that to be more readable with the same tool. Oh, there's even a report generator. Let's see what we can do here. There are daily, weekly and monthly reports. Although the menu needs some work, it's repeating the options. Anyway, let me just uh, describe something that I've done. There you have it. Just a brief explanation of what I did this week. And let's see what it generates. Oh, wow. Okay. It's actually pretty comprehensive. I thought it'll just be like a couple of paragraphs, but it's actually breaking down company wise. You know, it's giving me a structure so I can fill it up myself. It's even filling in a few details based on the context. Not everything is true. Of course, I have to edit this, but this is a really good template. Damn. Okay. I'm, I'm liking this one. Let's try a daily report, shall we? Okay. It's going into a lot more detail because in a day you do less than a week, right? So you can explain more here. I mean, my reports are not as detailed as this. Damn. There's even a universal translator. So you can enter a text and have it translated there from the drop down options. How about Japanese? Let's see how fast it is. Okay, that's that's pretty fast. But the voiceover only works for English text though. It doesn't work for all languages. Oh, there's even meeting content too. So if you have transcribed the meeting somewhere, you can just drop that here and it will convert that into easily readable notes. You can even break down your long term goals. So if you have some goal set which you want to explain to someone, you can do that here. I'm not sure why it kind of omitted the zero at the end of 2090. But yeah, the, the concept is there. What do you think? Is 2090 good enough for me to reach this level of subscribers? Yeah, I don't think that's enough time. You can even generate responses to certain emails based on a designation so you know if you're in a customer support role for example and you get an email from a customer asking for a refund or asking for some information you can just enter that email there and generate a response and you can see the quality of it i mean this is way too much detailed i don't think a customer would read this much but I would shorten it a little bit based on the context, but you can see how easy it was. Professional responses using GPT-4 on your phone. That's amazing. There's even a dream analysis. I, I think I shouldn't touch it because my dreams are a little... What's the difference between regular copywriting and Instagram copywriting? Let me just ask it to write a copy for this exact tool. Oh, so it generates a social media style copy with lots of, you know, emojis and stuff. This is not just applicable for Instagram. You can share it elsewhere too. I've seen people write similar things on LinkedIn as well. What else do we have? Love tips. Okay. Let's ask AI some thought provoking questions like, how do I find love? Nah, who cares? How do I find the best gaming PC? That's my flavor of love. And okay, it kind of gave me a little bit of an answer, even though it's not really specific. But see, it understands my love preference. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I'm done messing around. You get the idea. This app has a bunch of these presets for different categories that you see up there. It has free access, as I mentioned, and it's ad free as well. You won't get any annoying ads even in the free version. So yeah, all in all, it's a pretty worthwhile app to check out. I'll leave the link in the description. You can try it for free, both on Android and iOS and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks to iMyPhone for letting me take a look at their app. Chat art. It's nice. It's a good first attempt.